Hello, welcome back to the longest running Let's Play on uh, YouTube itself, I think. we got to be setting some sort of records here. This is six ages. We're on episode, what, like five? Uh, easing into this game, I think, is probably the, uh, where's the title? maybe. So, um, we're the Necrolites. We are, um, we like, we like horses. And we like Ernost. That's all I really, we really need to know if you haven't been keeping up with this one. Uh, Ernost is our leader, and he's just all right. So, um, basically, uh, I don't really remember what's happening from last time, but we're going to finish this game. Dang it, it's, it's going to take a few years, but we'll get there. Uh, actually, I think we are ne very near the end. Uh, but apparently we need more warriors, so let's go ahead and hire some warriors to begin with. We can hire nine more folks. We can give them horses. Hire from outside the clan as well. Sure, you know what, bring in as much as we want. We got five warriors out of that. Well, that's something. All right, so I think our our main goals here is we know about this this um, uh, what's his face um, this this elf thing, and uh, I think our main goal here is to is to see if we can get us to be the leader of this this sort of new horse nation. I, th I believe is where the game is going, so that's what we want to do. Um, we could do a bit of combat training to uh, maybe get some more swords. We don't have more than swords. We don't have ten. Oh, we only have nine swords available, don't we? Um, we could feast our neighbors. Um, we could recruit some clan members. Might be nice to have. We could sh we could keep trying to spread that revelation. We've tried this a few times. It doesn't seem to do us any good. Maybe because maybe Jevin is our problem. Trade for furs. We could trade. We have we actually have a decent amount of, of herds. It's okay. It's not a great amount, but it's a decent amount. Um, we do have some exploration. I think that we've been doing. We could go try to set out. We need a good diplomat. Which Jevin is the diplomat. We have Indaro here also. We could send Ernost, but um, let's send Jevin out. Jevon. Let's go share our exploration. We want to make sure we, we gotta, you know, let the other tribes know how good we are. Visit number of claims in the valley over many weeks. They listened to our stories, but didn't seem to pay much attention. Jevin said that we weren't the only ones exploring. We should keep trying. No, that wasn't really good. Plant people called elves rampage through your planted fields. Outrageous. Stone, a strange bone white powder trails behind them. You can already tell it's poisoning your crops. Naturally, you send their warriors to drive them off. The marauders melt away in the wooded area near your lands. What now? Promise an attack after the cro after the crop season. Promise is they always attack in crop season when we can't spare them in to fight. We can use some magic to try to, try to reverse it. We need food, right? Food's a big problem. Reverse it with earth magic. Promise to fight. Find their lair and attack all out. And Daro, I like your thinking. Oh no, we gotta go get these elves. We're getting them. Find their lair, take them out. They were elusive, but Ernos figured out where they'd be hiding. That's, that's why Ernos is amazing, and Ernos is leading that war party for sure. How many do we send? We send them all in. Now we can't send all our bows in because we need them to deal with the, with the, the um, sowing the fields. But we'll send in like 37. We burnt them from their woodland nest. Setting their archers alight with flaming arrows and chopping down their spearmen with axes. I like the sound of that. Nine of our warriors were hurt, many by mobile thorn bushes. By striking against our ancient enemies, our priests said we had attracted the favor of our ancestors who would aid our actions for a while. Excellent. Excellent. We have insufficient warriors again. We could try to get more. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get more. We got one bow is ready to become a sword. We got one guy. Um, oh, we had an expedition to the, uh, the mountains. I have two. I think I have two was our our fire mage guy. Being raided by the Vestantes. 111 of them. Slept past our patrols. We could only raise a small amount of folks. Known as magicians. Ernos thought it would likely perform a ritual before close. Um, they will put a ritual. Okay, let's get them out of here. Oh, I should have put magic into this. Whoops. Um, we gotta we gotta charge in there now. We advance. Ritual, skirmish. Let's, let's just advance. While they are... As we even get our advance, the Vestanti sent out a herald. Do you have a parlay? Yeah. We're not attacked today if you pay us goods worth 20 cows. Negotiate. Emerald replied, Perhaps if you could command the winds and lightning, we would talk. We only negotiate with the children of Vinkot. Okay. Took our wealth and left. Where are you guys at? Where are they? Where are they? Can I move my map around? I've forgotten it. There you go. Um, who was that? Vistanti? Where are they at? These guys? He came back from those mountains. Not that he didn't find anything. 
these guys way down here? Yeah, we already have an expedition going. Yeah. Um, let's explore them again. Can we do this and then and explore like out here? Sure. Don't bring any bows with you. Just bring a few swords, King Kimka. Only a few of you, but. Uh, sorry, you a charming trader of the Grey Wing Clan approaches you and perhaps um, propose an alliance. Half of her chief hands in, she makes a gift of 20 cows. Hey, thanks. I just lost some. This makes us a target for attacks. Our last success in battle has eluded us of late, but you are strong. You can help us. Make an alliance, combining your wealth, our wealth, with your might. What do you think? Anybody? Everyone agree? 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 Of course. Who is this Grey Wing? She beamed, pleased by our response. I knew you would see the wisdom of this arrangement. To show strength, give you a gift each time you attack those who most often prey on us. Each time you launch a full raid against the Paro Un or the Varvaling clans, we will give you five cows. When you beat them, we will give you a total of ten cows. Alright. Paro Un and Varvaling, we're going after you now. These guys and... Where's the Varvaling? They're over here. We hate the Varvaling. You know what? Let's get them. What, what season is it? Time to bring in the harvest, so we can't really do anything right now. We need to make sure we're doing that instead. Do we have anything here? We can start another venture. Um... I think maybe we just do a little bit of... Can we do some foraging? Oh, you are doing that right now. Guard the herds. Increases the herds. It is going up. But how much food do we have? Where's our wealth? Two seasons worth of food. Adequate says, uh, so now we will be uh, eating more than we produce over the coming year. Um, we could go hunt. I think we should, let's herd. Increase our... Let's do some herding. In time far from the village, Tarini was set upon by a pack of wild dogs and was wounded. At least they didn't get our livestock, she said. Thanks to her vigilant leadership, the herders figured out now we had ten more cows than we would have had otherwise lost. All right. Team Counter Party came under attack by a stone skinned rhino. Could not cross the Azlira River. Might have tamed the Black Eel River, but not uh, that one. We got magic. Okay. Bring in the harvest still. Um, is there any magic we want to be dealing with. We'll have more of these guys. Can we get any more? We can... Hmm. Try. One bow. Word has, uh, has it that one of the nearby Ram People settlements has flooded with migrants from parts of un Unknown. Observer said that some of the newcomers bolstering the last Ringling clan were well armed and carrying themselves as formidable warriors. Um, let someone else soften them. But warn the Aerostones, the Harrowling clan that most hates the Ram people. Um, offer a welcome gift. Seek a non aggression pact. Attack them before they settle in, or you don't have a plan. <clears throat> um, we don't like these guys. However, we could try this non aggression pact thing. Saw the non-aggression pact with them. They laughed and said they did not bring in more warriors because they were hoping to make peace. Erno said he did not blame himself, as we had not yet fully understood those odd foreigners. Odd foreigners, eh? Where's this at? What was this at? Hmm. We want to hit these... What is it now? Okay, it's cold and scary outside. We're going to hit the, uh, the Paral Un. Let's get him. We want to raid Carl Un. These wheel people. We hate wheel people. Or are those? Um, bring in, bring in the army. We can call on somebody. We can call on the who was that? The Grey Wings that were uh, want to help us out. Come on in. If you guys are gonna, you know, see us fight, then you'll know what's. Oh, cold winds caught our warriors. That's not good. <clears throat> Exploring the southern rammed kingdom called Vistantes, that's where we just went. Kimka's path is blocked by a party of its mad mighty warriors and the magicians. They're accompanied by what might be their totem animal, a large bear that has eyes of and what that eyes the horses curious curiously. Shield barrier of the Vistantes leader, Thorgrain, conveys an offer. Thorgrain hones himself to challenge for chieftainship of the clan. He will duel you. If he wins, you die, and the rest of your party are taken as slaves to labor for us unto death. If you win, you gain a fabulous treasure, the Gamari blanket. You ask about the treasure, he says, grants divine blessing to worshippers of Gamari. What say you? 
fight the bear instead. I'm crazy to think I could beat him, says Kimka. Are you not much of a fighter? Combat. You're good at combat. She's good at combat. She can do it. Kimka. 31 years old. Yeah, she's very good at combat. She can do this. Kimka, I believe in you. Kimka and Thorgrain fought furiously, trading many hard blows until Thorgrain finally drove his sword deep between... Uh oh Kimka's ribs. As they agreed, they took the rest of the party as slaves, sending a messenger to convey the news as Wes at home. Uh oh <laughs> Uh oh <laughs> That's way down there, too. Way down there. Oh, I'm glad I only sent four people with him. Um... Flint Heart thinks least of our might, hey? Let's see, can we do this one more of these? Uh, no, we're, we're busy. Um, what should we do this time? Hi, Aloris. I think it was something we need to be dealing with. Can, can we do a new, a new build here? Yeah, we should. Party sent out to explore the south a year ago has not returned. You're talking, and his party must be presumed to be. You're talking? No, not you're talking. It would be safer we had shrine to Zarlin. Sacrifice his Pathfinder blessing. Uh-oh. Not you talking. Well, dogs rove your pastures, killing 44 goats. Um. Let's call on the gods. Elmo, help me out here. How much you sacrifice? I have a lot of goods. Ten goods. Four herds. Five herds. Which god? We're going to call on Elmo. Priest spun in our shrine to Elmo, leaping through smoke to Elmo's side. If the dogs came back, he would pierce them with fiery arrows. Thanks. Thanks. Doesn't really help me out any. Uh, any rituals we want to do here? Battle me always gain treasure. Um, forage. We have the tablet maker. Nobles better leaders. Taming the river. We already did that one. We haven't done the leader. We could tame, I guess. Um, I don't know what we need to be doing at the moment. People like us. Um, except for the parallel Oon we don't like. We can go hit him. I mean, it's stormy and all that. Not friendly outside, but let's go get him. Hey, uh, hey, Grey Wings. Forget that last time. That was a mistake. There we go. We got him. Hey, said 21 warriors. We, uh, they didn't spot us. We have 12 swords. 54 bows, facing only 5 charioteers and 56 footmen? Ernos is pleased. We don't need magic. We're taking them out. Let's, um, kill as many as possible. Just charge. Ran through a barrage of arrows. Berserk attack! Oh, yeah. Brief but bloody battle. We killed, um, a lot of them. Took 19 cows, um, of loot, healing magic, kept everyone alive. Well, some people alive. Oh, the Varvalings. 16 rares. Met with them with 6 swords and 18 bows. Um, yeah, we need some magic. We gotta take these guys out. We gotta kill as many as possible of these Varvalings. We hate these guys. Charge in there! Try to charge, but the warriors faltered as the Varveling war whoops advance. Both sides advance. Erno steered our warriors so that he had a, we had a slight advantage. Let's fight cleverly. Murder them all. Take them in as slaves. That's what they did to us. As promised, the Grey Wings have given us cows for beating the Aparol Un. They would honor their promise in the future if we attack the Parl Un or the Varvelings again. Okay. Now, these guys. I don't really know them very well. Varvelings are over there. We can hit these Varvelings again. These are actually, yeah, these are Ram people. We don't like Ram people either. Let's go back to Peril. Do we have a tribute? We had a tribute with him for a while. Um. How are we doing on, um, what did we pick? We picked all the, oh yeah, try to keep our food supply up. Um, we've got, the, we can also talk with the, uh, the spirits as well. Deal with marriages. Um, peaceful expeditions during the snow. That could be nice. Keeps our riders from being detected. Steals from other clans. Raven helps us with that. Um, how about Duck? Let's bargain with Duck. Duck. Um, I'll just try to persuade you. 
So back and forth, the Duck Spirit agreed to help us, but only for a year. Zatanna, uh, Zatanna said that the Duck Spirit might have been swayed if the clan had devoted more magic to the rituals. Well, you know. Trolls. Evil creatures of darkness who have harried you since your people left the Golden City, lumbered into your grazing lands yesterday to drove off some of your cattle. Cows belong to your household of the Acot family, who have been hard by losses lately. In Daru, member of your kind circle, as the other six families each give them a few animals to make up for this. Normally we would not ask, and Daru says, but we have borne more than our share of misfortune the past seasons. And Daru's right here, right? Um, we can all help this out. Yeah, everyone, throw it just, you know, one or two. People agree that custom should sometimes bend to mercy. Okay. Except for the Zarent family, whose grunts of frustration echo their... Aren't you Zarent? Oh, come on, Ernos. Take it easy, buddy. Uh, Sherikum died of old age. Died, uh, sad at being treated... At having treated his wife so badly. Those many years ago, he taught the clan so much. Sordiga. Emissary from the Arizona clan comes to you with cows you recently lost to the troll raiders. I found these bearing your clan's brand, she says, next to some dead trolls. Whatever killed them must have been bigger and hungrier than they were. Such a thing as could have been... Oh, thanks. Um... I wonder what could kill trolls so easily without eating all the cattle. I wonder. You know what? Have half the, have half the cows. She says, we have proven our good faith. She's proven hers. She will tell her clan and you will grow in their esteem. Uh, Chardonnay. Most obscure rituals and speaking of all our gods, her magical aptitude is now as great as any hero's. Okay. So we have 14 more adults, 28 babies. Go away. More people. More cows, more horses, lots of goods. We're doing pretty good, I think. Shrines cost all kinds of stuff. More children will be born this year. Uh, we're known for finding the secrets of Hylor. Yeah. Where do we put our 11 magic? Do we go for with war? I think diplomacy. We're going to try to be friends. Friends. We want to make sure we stick with pastures and fields. Because that's kind of ugly right now. Maybe a bit. Uh, Harmony's fine. We're are happy. Um, a bit more exploring, I guess. See, troubling news, the Black Death has visited the Zarhawks, killing many of them. We can only hope the plague doesn't spread. It didn't kill you, did it? No, it killed the Zarhawks. Okay, okay. Alright, many babies this year. Well, we can do another adventure here. I think we gotta go with this. We gotta spread this revelation. Who wants to do it? She's the magic one. Is that what we want? We want magic for this? She's heroic. Good diplomacy. Who's the best diplomat? Is that who we want for this? Um, I'm not sure who we want to do this. Emphasize archery. Fight the wheels. Our most about speakers to spread the word. Okay. So that's going to be Chuck Norris. Chuck. I really need you to, you know, help me out here. We could send Ernos in on his way. Ernos, you can do it. Well, no, send Chuck in. All right. Now it's time permitted. Heston traveled among the clans, spreading the word of Sonala. No more of a hireling neighbors except the truth about Sonala as we had. If I said that we had to be wrong, no one could be both elf and human. Hmm. It's the same thing happens every time. Advance party from a wandering, rootless clan of riders called the Dark Seers. Arrive on your clan border to make a request. Your own clan watered for a while until you came to the valley. These folk stay on the move, saying that they have yet to find the perfect spot. They seek permission to run their cattle across your lands, pasturing them briefly. They provide some kind of consideration in exchange. I want tales from distant lands. Yeah, that's a good idea. It spoke shyly at first, but as the night stars proceeded overhead, the last drops fell from the mouth of their kumi skin, they grew more expansive. The Dark Seers shared tales of many strange adventures, which thrilled the young and educated the rest of us. Hyarnan, particularly, gleaned much from them and told us they had visited the rams southeast of our valley, who called themselves the Infithteli. They were not like the rams of the valley, but still rams, marking themselves as with designs. Dark Seers told us everywhere they have wandered, the world was going colder. Yeah, what a story. A duel with the Vistanti's hero. Yeah, we could do that. I don't like those guys. Food low. Colder climate. One season worth of food. Food supplies low. We will harvest this earth season. Yeah, yeah, we will. Um, 
What is it? It's, uh, it's planting time. Hmm. There's a lot of map here we still haven't gone. We haven't gone anywhere up here, so let's go do an exploration mission up here. Who wants to explore this? Hmm. Not sure who we want to send. Maybe... Maybe it's a good, a good fighter. Just, just in case. Not something Ernos, but I have two. She's like a fire mage, right? She could do it. She's got good magic. Yeah, we'll send her off. Um, and bring a few uh, swords. No, I bring like two bows. Okay. Insufficient warriors. Let's go get some more warriors. What's um? I was thinking we'll also in, we'll offer an additional cow. We got five more warriors. Excellent. We've not done enough to ensure people are fed. Unfortunately, our food supply is still poor. It looks like a clan will produce less than we eat during the next year. Ask for okay. We got problems. You're raided by the fire flowers. 111 riders in terror in total. All right, we need some magic for this. Drive them off. Just um. Magic ritual first. Battle glow. They shot arrows. Our priests completed a ritual. Our warriors felt a warm glow. Um, let's um, skirmish. They set aside a reserve force. Shower them with volleys of arrows. We are now out of arrows. Advance. Advance despite their war whoops. Opportunity for vengeance. Last time you uh, you and the Fireflowers thought they killed Bartolor. His kin among the Turrets spy the warrior who was responsible. What do they do? They kill him. Without delay, Balador, uh, Bartolor's kin rushed him. Alas, the Fireflower warrior proved his skill at arms, felling two of our t the turrets. Uh oh Fight fiercely. Push forward. Only the gods can be sure our fighting skill. Uh, yeah, we got him. We got him. Fiercely. And cleverly. Got him. Okay. Took him out pretty good. Catch foreigners hunting in your wildlands. You've met their people before. They're the Votanki hunters from the eastern forests. Feed them, kill them, put them off with a thrashing, with a warning. Let them off with a warning. I can't feed them. I don't have the food for this. Get out. Well, they understood only a crude version of the trade tongue. Our words instilled, instilled fear in them. All the same. Thank us for our clemency and gift of red gems. Okay. We need food. Let's go, um... We can start another one of these. Okay, let's do a, um... Foraging? I think probably best. Are you my, my best forager, Nawi? Food run out. Yeah, yeah. First high and low. Find many tubers that could be harvested over the coming weeks. Okay, excellent. Let's go do a, uh, oh, a herd raid. Let's see if we can get some herds from... I want to get some of the varbling. I hate these guys. These guys are the worst. It's, um, it's harvest time, so I'm just going to send a few swords. A lot of swords. Okay, hey, everyone herds. Got bounties all around. How's food looking? Oh, we're good now, I think. Do we have a trade with the Grey Wings? We, have a, we, we already have a trade route with them. Okay. The Jinadari. Control Hill Fort. Where are they? Way down there. These are Ram people. Hold your girl way over there, and they hate us. Any more horse folks around? We should probably make make peace with all the horse folks. I think it's probably would be best. These guys don't like us either. Let's send uh, let's send an emissary to them. Blue Crest. Um, no trade route, but just well, maybe maybe we could try. We could try. My best trader. Yeah, it's gonna be you, Jeffin. Just bring like four swords with you. Safe from bandits. Good. No warrior still, eh? One bow. Exploring the northwest, we spotted a rock with Hyalor's rune. In the middle of the clearing, we dug under it and found 41 gold coins. They haven't been minted since we lived in Nevora. Must have been one of the treasures Hyalor hid for us before he died, like the long ride story tells us. Caravan's back from the Blue Crests. Although our reception was barely civil, Blue Crest traders were willing to accept our first caravan to them, although I made a small profit. I could not convince them to set up an ongoing trade relationship. Okay, well, you know. Yawning chasm in the earth opens up in your pasture land. 
swallowing a few goats. Build a wooden fence around it, of course, to prevent further herd losses. Then what? Punish the ram people. Post herders to watch the hole. Relocate pasture land between the clan families. Close up the hole with magic. Earth mother and her daughters, Pela, Buzanari, and Uyarda, Uyarda, heard the pleas and seared the hole on up. That's scary. Okay. Let's see. Varblings, we should hit the varblings. It's in an emissary. Is that how far we got? Is that the is that water right there? Let's do another. Let's do more exploring. Let's send someone. We've sent someone out this way before. Is that correct? The inland sea out there. We just heard stories of it. I think. Thwarted by ice demons. Perhaps in the spring. All right. Is it, uh, yeah, it's bad times right now. Um, well, let's just do a quick, um, a quick, um, foraging hunt. There you go, Naui, you got this. Sorry, all clan expressed misgivings over the number of your clans, of other clans you have obligated yourselves to aid. Speaking on perhaps the beast of their chieftain, then roast, the emissary said, you're allied with five clans when it is hard enough for clans to manage its relationship with three clans. Do not drop one of your other allies. We will regretfully be forced to withdraw our connection to you. We do not wish to tell you your business, but point out that the Grey Wing clan ignores the cries of the ancestral spirits. You're right about that. Um, I don't know. Anyone have any ideas? Oh, in the alliance with them, not not you. Um, no, be my ally. We give, yeah, yeah. Um, here, have, um, have some goods. Could not, could, oh, oh, sorry. So that it has been difficult proposing all, oh, sorry. Who was that? The, um, Grey Wings. They like us a lot. So we got four best friends over here. Who was the one, who was that just came to us? Arrowstone, Red Feather. I don't know who that was. Um, it's very cold outside. So, the, uh, what's that? The Flint Heart most disrespects us. Who's the Flint Heart? Flint, Flint, Flint. Flint Heart. Uh, send an emissary over to them. I'm just gonna bring them a few goods. Can't afford to give her a few of those. And we'll send Chuck Norris in. Just to give him a gift. Return from the Southwest took longer than past years. World's getting, world is really getting colder. Found an immense mushroom. Immense mushroom, eh? Remember spruce, spruce tips? Huge eggs? Giant birds or some sort of lizard? Alright. Bluegrass are attacking us. We are, we are very outnumbered. Okay, we're going to be too magic on this one. Just get him out of here. Let's um, maneuver. Outmaneuver by them. Um, wait for opportunities. So you fight the blue crest, you hear a, uh, a din from another flight of the battlefield. A group of warriors from the Aerostone clan rides towards your foes. Swords and bows poised to attack them. Two clans are neighbors, not good ones, from the looks of it. Aerostones must have seen them mustering to come attack us. Follow them here. What actions does Erno's command? Um, support them as lead a strike. Hit as hard as they do. Outdo the, the, uh, them. Wait a minute. No, no. Call Elmo to help him out. Do not see fit to intervene. <laughs> Um, hold our ground. Risky false attack, which failed when one of our their horses stumbled. Swing in our way. Just conserve our strength. I think the reason we win these battles so easily because of is because of Ernos being such a fantastic combat guy. Bitter fight. Took a lot of our magic. But took him down. What war do you offer the Aerostones for helping us out? Um, I'll give you guys some some wealth. Here, have um. 17 goods. Defeating the uh, Blue Crest clan was its own reward. Gift it made it all the sweeter. Oh, Terrain has gone. This ominous phenomenon perplexes us all. We keep hearing a creaking or groaning from the sky. It's not just the sound of thunder, but something far more troubling. Well, that is troubling. All right, we've arrived here. Where is this at? Flint Heart? That's not who just attacked us, is it? 
Um, just give gifts. Okay. Most pleased with the gifts presented to them. As near as I can tell, they think well of us. Excellent. We got a hole on the, uh, <clears throat> on the board. So, um, more children than born this year. Uh, any children born this year would have great destinies. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Okay. More people, more cows, less horses. People born this year would have... Children born would have great... Okay, let's have some kids then. Make sure we take care of our field and pastures. And let's go forage a bit, I guess. Um, we'll do a, ri a few rituals to get kids. Yeah. Okay. Red Feather Clan has accomplished a song to celebrate this fine productivity of their fields. It's a little on the saucy side, and so is fun as well as boastful. All the Rider Clans sing it now as our allies. Can't begrudge them to the success, no matter how eagerly they celebrate it. Baron, son of Henmul and Nira, has grown into a fine young man, stronger and better spoken than his years, which suggests every action is indeed descended from Elmo. Almost, what's his name? Baron. Okay. Who is Baron? Oh, look at you. You're young. You're a Zarent. Guy just become a pure horse clan, eh? That sounds a little bit fascist. <laughs> right, is, that your, is that your daughter, uh, Ernost? There's Baron. Although I'm still young, I still I can bring insight to the circle. Do we have a uh, Norden on here? I don't think we do. Oh, Parnt is missing. Who's the other Norden? Oh, her. Um, get out. I'm sending this guy in. He's special. So we have, what was it? Part. We have two parts. We have Estia and Indiga. Estia is very young. Um, very good food. You're actually, you're better. Yeah, Estia, hop on in there. Hey, okay. are you crazy? Representative of Vusnari Gamari or Uyarda. Circle, we could spend more magic. Eh, whatever. I'm going to be interested to hear about our duel with the Fasantes. Yeah, you know what? Erno said that too. Let's talk about it. Um, is it this one? I guess so. Uh, you know what, buddy? You go do it. Where are you? Are you no good at this? We, diplomacy. Excellent. Yeah, you go do it. From our clans in the Valleys of the Weeks, they listen to our stories, but claim we told them nothing new. Are you sure? We, we did, actually. White Fox Emissaries seek your aid hunting bandits. Mixed gang of rams and the riders exiled from their home clans have been ambushing traitors. You're maintaining a hiding place nearby and making your ideal partners in this effort. Yeah, I'll help you. Who leads it? Um, Baron. Hey, you. Go get him. Yeah, you can have a couple swords. You can, it's sea season? You can't. I gotta sell my fields. You can have a few swords. Could not find the bandits. The white foxes grew testy, saying we did not know what we were doing. Could not be helped. Baron said that they weren't be worth wouldn't be worthy of the name bandit if they were that bad at hiding. If they were bad at hiding. Well, you know. I don't know what to, about, what to do about the Sanala thing. So, I mean, we could try to do it again. We keep on doing this, trying to spread it. It's failing every time. We could try sending someone different out. Maybe we just send Ernos. Ernos, you go tell him. Tell them, please tell them. Travel to the other clan, spreading the word. No more. Found it. Um, five said they'd be wrong. Yeah, I just, I don't know what to do. Well, now he's getting worried again. Now you're just going to get gray hair any day now because you're always worried about food. Always worried about it. We have plenty of food for now. Take a few more of these guys. Human elders can contain their worried whispering no longer. They suspected earlier. Now even the dullest man can plainly see. I've two. We like I've two. Blessed with Elmo's gift of fire from an early age, carries a child in her womb. Because she's unmarried, the elders say her condition will attract the mockery of rival clans. Several remark that she has been taking unexplained solitary trips away when the clan from the clan of late. When asked who the father is, I've two eyes blaze. I will do anyone who re repeats that question. If I lose, I will answer it. If I win, I cannot vouch for the mercy of the blade. What do you think, Ernest? Her fury will grant her an edge in combat. 
I, for one, would not want to trifle with. Raid the first clan that dares mock her. Yes, yes. We could also throw a celebratory feast. This is our fault. We selfishly refused to let her marry out of the clan. We did. We did do that, didn't we? Yeah, have a feast. As the night wore on, the old woman stopped worrying about what the other clans might think. Started to anticipate the arrival of a new child who, judging by her mother, might be imbued with divine powers. That's right. They will be very special. Um, speaking of special things, we need to have some... I, I know what we need to do this time is we need to... Maybe duck. Duck, can you help me with can you help me with this? Um, can I bargain with you for your for your um for this? Just need longer duration. I'll offer you some magic, okay? Um Yeah. Eagerly accepts clan of magic. Six years. Nice. Okay. Now we need to go do um this the gods. Who's the one that does the um, fertility? That's cows. I don't want one going to help us with, with women. Take people. No. Amari. Fertility of our mares. Why is that one green? There we go. Fertility of our women is what we want. So I want this one badly. So give me a new mystery, please. I'm going to give you... What do you want? Um, anyone know? Set at least seven cows. Okay, here I have eight. Blessed children. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Nobles from the Nar Onan clan uh, rumble in their carts near clan borders and make a strange request. They wish to embark on a ritual journey to the God's War. One of their priests will take the role of their god, Rogros, and write called Rogros' Four Traitor. In the story, Samnol, who stole Gamari's first horse daughters, helps his son Rogros, Rogros, outwit Ikarna, your trade goddess. Uh, the might will be strengthened if a rider joins the ceremony in the role of the enemy. Not be harmed. Undergo symbolic defeat. He succeeds to give us twenty cows. You are a bunch of wheels. I don't know if I should help you. Now he always likes, always wants to help folks. And Dar, you want to agree? Agree and do it for nothing? Sure, why not? No, there's a reason why not. Um, 30 cows. Oh yeah, I want payment even if the ritual fails. If we do not want their 20, their 30, um, the Flint Heart surely would. Okay, 30 cows. Um, fine. Who goes and does it? Who's gonna go get defeated? What do we need? Symbolic humiliation. Chardonnay, you're, you're old anyway. Um, maybe we should send in the youngins, like Alayi. Go in there. You can have a couple, a couple of those. Uh, Alayi, um, watched as their nobles took the role of Seminole's son, Rag Ragaros, and acted into the, the, the ritual. Submitted to role the ceremonial villain, showing Ryder's spirit even through her defeat was foreordained. Her fervor somewhat reduced the magic loss we would suffer for doing this. Their efficient Returned glowing from God's War. From the God's War, the Nara Anoni would have strong trade resistance as a result of their magical efforts. We took our cows and returned home as they rode around in celebration. Glad having helped their clan. Said she would not rather not be humiliated by the wheels again. Yeah, you know, well. Um, welcome to the clan. I want to build a um, an altar for this. A shrine to this. Okay. This blessed children thing. We want that. Uh, an altar shrine. Can we do it again? Ready by trolls. There's lots of them coming in. Um, we don't have a lot of magic, so I'm gonna just just kill as many as possible. Charge! The trolls halted their advance to let us charge the distance between. Vengeance! Last time you uh, thought they killed Erasdus. This kin among the uh, dishonored spider warrior. Um, let her know snow. Send a detach detachment of warrior riders at the troll warrior. Last sight uh, was Erasdus kin cheering as he fell. Seriously. Well named Arrow, Ernos manages to strike down one of your mighty troll adversaries. Scanning the battlefield, his next target, Ernos sees that two trolls have overcome Baron, having broken from the fighting to eat him. They're poised to tear him apart like a roast chicken. What does Ernos do? Pepper them with arrows, ride past them, drawing him away. Um, hand to hand, Ernos, you can do it. Surprising them with sudden slashes, Ernos drove them away from Baron before he could be pull them to pieces. 
fight uh, cautiously. Uh, opportunities? No, no, no. Take risks and win. Ah. Um, hold your ground. Oh, no. Oh, no. Terrific fight. Battle magic shook up many of our warriors. We uh, They killed and ate 28 cows and 11 horses. They burned our watchtower. Hmm. That's not good. Can we still, can we not get this yet? Can I say not this one and then this one? Okay, there we go, there we go. Um, yeah, let's do that one. Okay, we need, we need babies. Babies this year. All right, what is it? It's storm season. We have to rebuild our watchtower. So we'll build that. We have to take 10 goods, no problem. Um, we could try to go get something. I think maybe we um, grab a couple more uh, swordsmen. Uh, giving birth to a beautiful baby girl. Amiga. Elmo Dezotis say that they can see his fire in the childhood's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Ape 2. Excellent. Members of the Nara Onan clan approach your borders to lodge a pro protest. The resheltering Dara happens, they say. In the days of the Golden City, their people fought ours. In the War of Many Sons, our ancestors demanded that we should make war on those who slew them... Slew so many of them. Send them forth, we may kill them. Is this my, is this my kid? Right, we just had... Fight them, attack them. Um, we may kill them. Who's this? Nar Onan. A bunch of wheel folks? No, we're killing them. Attack them. Send them all in. Sent the Nar Oni packing. They killed three. Uh, 14 warriors were hurt. They killed. We killed three of theirs. From the dead, we seized horses. Oh, and Daro's dead. He wasn't that old. Last words were to bless his family and curse the rams. That's right. That's right. All right, so we got 31 babies more born. 15 new adults. 31 babies. That's good. That's good. One fewer person. Um, priests were a little surprised to report that they saw few arguments within the clan. Yeah, because we're very peaceful people. Uh, we want... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Food seems to be a priority, of course. Crafts is fine. Goods is really good. Herds are, are up. Um, health is fine. Five people still hate us. One fears us. We do a bit more exploring, I guess. Let's do that. The Jovashta clan claimed they were visited from the last surviving bird rider. It came to them from the far north. The bird riders once ruled the empire as usurpers. As usurpers. Cast that long ago. Okay. Clan mood is content. Only four sick people. We're trying to spread that thing right now, apparently. Um... More combat training. You know, if, um... I wonder if you should train. Yeah, you know what? I have to. You do some training. Started weekly mounting drills. She was disappointed that people seemed slow to learn. She thought that we would be better prepared for the next battle. Good. Oh, elves are here. Come to your clan asking for assistance. They're using the trade language, they haltingly explain that they have lost crucial fertility. I want you to perform a restor restorative ritual, calling on your goddess Nialda. Friend of their goddess... Uh, they will tax your priestesses and ask... No, no, no. I will kill them. Can I fight them? No. Get out of here. You refuse politely? No. People took heart in our repudi and you repudiation of plant creatures. Get out. Alright. Um, we can do another one of these. Let's go ahead and get our next person on the list. Who, uh, who do we lose? Let's just see who it is. Oh. We lost a Karen. Right, and you're the only one, I think. Okay. Oh, we have a bunch of Karens. We have... Oh, I've two can be on the board. Oh. Oh, Chuck Norris can be on the... Yeah, put Chuck Norris in there. Yep, there's a lot of Karens. Wait. Is there a vacancy? Because she's a Karen already. Have we lost a whole family? Norden, you're... Oh, yeah, Norden. Parnt. Turrent is represented. Zarent. Yeah, I guess they are all there. So we can put whoever we want in there. I kind of want to put A2. I, I think Chuck Norris has to be in there. Okay. So our most pious speakers to spread the word of Sanala. We're trying. We're trying. But no one listens to us. 
It's most pious speakers. Pious. So we want someone that's like good at maybe. We need we need uh, diplomacy for one. Diplomacy and maybe magic. We sent her before and it doesn't work. I'll try it one more time. Uh, no more. Nope. Could not be both a liar and a daughter of our namesake God. Hmm. Fields are exhausted and barely, barley crop won't do well. Be able to clear more fields and let the animals graze on the old ones. Okay, let's do that. Uh, or more things are here. 120 of them. We got a lot of us, though. Let's just drive them off. Charge! Um, let Ernest have your day, buddy. Take as many as you can. Charge into a mass. His 30 steel blade cut down many of them. Uh, just conserve our strength. We tried to rest, but we're disadvantaged against our uh, against a mounted foe. Fight fiercely. Okay. Took a lot of them out. The Urgashite trading party shows up wanting to exchange their goats for our goods. They don't herd cows or horses, or use horses. They show no interest in trading for anything other than your portable goods. Their lands have grown even cheerlier than yours. Their goats look different from yours. Their clan's goat experts covet them. Um, yes, yeah, learn about your ways. You give them, sure, sure. Have a couple of goods. We're here to trade, not to give away their divine secrets. They departed offended. Hessen said we might be, not be quick to share our sacred lore either. Well, you know, I mean. There they are, right there. Let's go visit them. Devin, you go that way. Um, we need to go and we're we still working on this. We need to get convert our pastures to fields, according to uh, Nawi, I think. Time to what? Prepare new fields. Yeah, yeah. Open mine these days. No more ventures. <clears throat> if we had, yeah, yeah. Exhausted fields and food shortfall, which we could do a what is it? harvest time we could come out here and do a bit of, of um, harvesting we could like cross the river and, and maybe into their lands and forage we could capture horses let's go up here and capture horses oh we can't do that okay fine we'll stay in my land and we will we will forage Easy to find food outside of any clan lands. Not too far to bring it back. Is it right there, you then? Harassed by elves. Prudent to return before the forgers were seriously hurt. Yeah, those elves. Those elves. The clan elders report that they are viciously assaulted by Venalor, one of your swords. It happened after they ruled against him in a legal dispute involving a missing sword. Uh, Venalor has been uh, not just attacked particular elders, but uh, very foundations of your legal system. Complicating matters, Venalor's pillar warriors hold him in such high regard, regard that they wish to discount the severity of what he's done. Always had a fiery temper and won't do it again. Hothead, but sure and fearless in battle. You know, exile him. Give him a beating. Um. If exiled, he might be adopted by another clan. We don't want to fight him. Um, just, just say you're sorry, buddy. So he could not do that, as the elders had knowingly provoked him. All right, just pay some reparations. He did, thanking the council for their forgiveness. He praised it, okay. Okay. Very good. Let's explore some more. This way. Uh, Baron, go, go explore that way. Take some silver with you. Okay, and let's explore down here. It's exploring time. Um, I have two. I'm not going to send you. I will send Oralado. Flamesinger delegation from the far north arrives seeking to recruit swords to join their ranks. Uh, Flamesinger is your father clan. Your family split from it to form the Nucralites clan and migrate south, eventually settling here in the valley. They live uh, to the north, too far away to raid you for, um, or for you to raid them. Each sword who moves to their clan, they will compensate with goods worth 20 cows. 
Each sword's spouse and children will move as well. Five warriors. What do you think? Tell them no. Tell them no. I'm just, mm. Mm, okay, no. How do you say farewell to them? Let's have an ancestor ceremony. We'll give us some goods. We'll give some goods to this. Hey, they blessed us. Good. Okay, so we got that scouting going on. Um, we can go to Yelena as well. We got happy ancestors. Excellent. Um, let's see. Cows are still good. Goods are still good. That might be good. Let's go sacrifice for this. Teach me fire arrow. What do you want? That is, when we spin more of a gift than a sacrifice. Uh, seven cows. And goods or livestock. Our gift would be more worthy. There you go. Okay. Fire arrow. A group of well-spoken traders from the Aerostone clan arrives. Only a few clans brought Typicus, god of smiths, from Nevora. You did. So the Nucleolites clan has the finest bronze goods. We should trade for everything your red smiths produce for the next seven years. 40 cows worth of goods now. You can offer a better deal than the cheapskate Zarhawks. We like the Aerostones. Tells the circle we would probably make 50 cows worth of bronze goods over seven years. No shortage of trade goods right now. Um, yeah, that's fine. We could do it. Okay. Now, who hates us? Let me see this. Um, the Blue Crest hate us. Old Eagle, where are you at? These are all horse clans. We should probably make them like us a little more. A little more. Um. They all reject Sanala. Let's start with the Fire Flowers. Chuck. Send some swords. Send a few bows with you, too. In emissary to each rider claim we could attract more allies. We have enough allies, though. Or, um, Jindarin. Just give him some goods. For a while now, you've been hearing groans from the sky above, and now you see their source. A crack has appeared above the very heavens. There's no mere local phenomenon. Every in the valley, no doubt beyond, can see this. Fear grips the people. Ooh. What do you think? Give me a problem I can hit with a sword, says Ernost. Be brave. Ooh. Urge all valley clans to ritually strengthen the sky. Strengthen the sky. Um, divination. Spread word through the valley that the rams did this. Hmm. Throat's gone dry. Istia, you are no help at all. Be brave, people. Zelda's words stirred the courage in our hearts. We were right to be scared, but we'd face whatever was coming together. Back from the, uh, the foothills, they've been affected by the colder weather. If the goat folk had anything worth taking, they hit it well. What was that? That was way up. What was that? Up here. All right. It's a uh, late storm season. We can try to spin another emissary to the old, or the old what? Old eagle. Same thing. Just bring us some goods. They hate us. You know what? Stop hating us. Just give them some gifts. They still think poorly of us. Hmm. So twenty-four cows and a herd raid. Fire flowers. I just visited you and gave you things. 47 new babies this time. Nine more people. We've got the usual number of rats and vermin this year. All right. Um, let's explore more. We're going to make sure we deal with fields and pastures. Probably going to do a bit of war. I always assume we'll do a bit of war. We'll put a point in the ritual also. Okay. Back in the far northeast, where we see uh, the shores of the vast inland sea. Decorative shells and driftwood worth three cows. Stop looking, we saw predatory figures in the distance. We got close enough to see they were bandits. Okay. The Baron came home. Kingdom inhabited by rams who call themselves the uh, Infithe Infiteli. Yeah. They despise the rams who live here in the valley, calling them Kestiteli. When I asked for reasons behind the hatred, I never got the same answer twice. A clan called the Weather Castlings granted us hospitality. 
Why, just to boast of attacks we had made against the uh, those guys. The tale of fighting against local rams left them yawning. Okay, to the old eagles. Just give them gifts. Still think poorly of us. Well, we're getting there, I guess. Uh, a higher than usual number of legal disputes between families. Arguing some over grazing rights. Yeah. Hessens get. Oh, check Norse changed. Okay. Alright, we're calling it a day here. We can do more adventures. Okay, we're calling it a day. I, it won't be another month before another episode. I promise. I promise. Might be a little while, a little while, but you know we got to keep that uh, that longest let's play ever going. You know, system. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.